Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The book of Revelation, the first chapter and the third verse declares, if we read the book of Revelation, we will be blessed. Come on, let's go get our blessings. Revelations 1 8 I am the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the ending saith the Lord God which is and which was and which is to come the Almighty Father may your word go forth in clarity may your people be edified and may you be glorified in the matchless name of Jesus I pray amen I want to take time tonight to bless God for the Apostle John the revelator that while he was in prison in the isle that is called Patmos he received the revelation of Jesus Christ from God. And I want to take this opportunity to use this text to point us back to our God, to get our attention on where the attention should be on the God that we serve. He said he was Alpha and Omega. You know, the first letter of the Greek alphabet and the finality of the Greek alphabet. He starts it, he's the beginning, he ends it, and he's in control of everything in between. He said that he was Lord. That means he's master. He's the supreme authority. He is in control of all things. He's God. He's deity. He's divinity. Hallelujah. He's divine and there is nothing greater than our God. Uh, no COVID-19, no evil power. Nothing is greater than our God because what? He's almighty. He's the ruler of the universe. He's sovereign. And John the Revelator went a little further and said, he is the God which is, which was, and which is to come. So what is he saying to us today? He is the same God that set things in order when the world began. He's the same God that kept his people throughout time. And he is the God that is about to come. He never changes. He is a great God.